So because I don't um, make a workout video every day, that doesn't mean I don't go to the gym. I definitely get it in. Um, haven't been here in about a day. So today I said to myself, I gotta get to the gym and get this workout because I started to feel uncomfortable. And when your body is used to working out and going to the gym and you don't do it for a few days, you start to slack off. Next thing you know, you ain't gone for a week. Next thing you know, you ain't gone for a month. So, uh, not into that. Get my butt to the gym. Alright, you ready? Shit. It's like that? It's like it? that. I mean, well, I always have verses again. So, let's do the verses. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll do some, some, um, some verses. Alright, bet. Alright, you with me, man? I'm with you. Working out in a public park by the ball clay Shake my body on the bars Mine shapes bars like clay I'm thinking about the stars Down the block in the Coliseum I know he's got to go out to see him But it's alright, one day I'll be one Spit from my soul deep in my diaphragm Got a four pack with a Tupac gut You'll understand your man normal is a problem Where I grew up they keep strong nicknames. Johnny Poop Stains grew up to be Johnny Shit Stains. Yeah. Scotty Karate still got the moves always ready. Fat Pat became a sailor on the Staten Island Ferry. That's Fat nice. Vinny, one of my favorite guineas, grew up, got in shape. Mm, wouldn't say that he's skinny, but he got fit, which is great. Growing up, he got shit. Box head had two baby box kids. Uh. Freaks a garbage man who's fantastic at darts. We're handsome, John Hanson, bartends at the bar. I'll have a Guinness bullshitting. Hey, Raj, how's business? Heard the veggie show's over. How you getting spinach? I'm the hip hop pop guy. Get it by any means. Get Get my super strength from more than just my greens. Bro, Brian Broccoli told me I had to leave. Hosting a show is cool, but music was the bigger dream. I mean, bigger scheme. Uh. Needed to change my scene. I couldn't do it on my own. Needed a bigger team. All this time I've been plotting and planning from a big silly guy to a normal young man. I've been grinding so hard for so long. Can you blame me if I want to put it in a song? It's my life, my failures, my glory. It's my time, and this is my story. Normal young man, Holly Stark. Catches. Yeah. Instagram, right? Yeah. yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Normal young man. Holly Starks. <laughs> Holly Starks. <laughs> Please get the fuck up my grill. They do not want me to win. But now I'm embracing my sins. I don't know where to begin. Drinking this tonic and gin. She's smoking a cig. You know, that's not my thing. Soon she'll be smoking my dick. Maybe I'll finesse a flick. All before changing my zips. She do not know why I curved. I told her that money's a girl. That I will never betray. Anything else is just gay. Part of my niggerish ways. This is America black. America's good. You know America's hood. Brooklyn, very own Hollywood. So what's poppin'? What's crackin'? Flavish Cadillac and bus checks in my hand. Like Call that Call that them boys are nice, got skills. And I tell you, when you have skills, you let it shine. So I'm getting ready to be 48 years old, September 10th. And as I'm riding by this hospital, this is Woodhall Hospital, right here. When I was a kid, that hospital was being built. It was ground level, it was a hole on the ground. And when I ride by here and I say, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> chalk up the asphalt a lot and I think that's how this started because we would just plus we would make up games and playground the whole thing so this is very much like play it's like riffing so you know you just invent the moment and that's what that is and it's definitely an awesome piece <laughs> thanks it was, it was a blast I don't want to where are you from Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Okay. yeah so that's how you know we, we played all the time Non-stop. We were outside 24-7 in the summer. This definitely tells the story. It does. I know people came by from the neighborhood and we started talking to them because he grew up in Brooklyn too and we all, they all they related because they're like, this reminds me of growing up and playing and it's like, okay, 
it's like we all did it. We all yeah. did the piece in a way. Well, I appreciate your work and I definitely love it, love it, love it. All right, I'll put something in that I, I'll put something in of you. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, maybe a Salvador Dali piece right in there. You'll have to look for it. You know, one of the things that I was looking at is this art all over the place in Brooklyn. Right now, you find me in um, Trotman and Evergreen. And I'm always used to seeing this art. I mean, I've been seeing it since the 70s when we had the graffiti artists. Um, and in the 80s, it started to wear out a little bit. But what's going on is that in the 60s, we had a lot of individuals, a lot of artists moving down to Manhattan. And, you know, they were just exploring things. And, in the 70s, we had the same thing, and every time has its era. And now we are in the 2000s, it's 2016, and you have people moving from all over the world of Bushwick in different areas, and they're about showing what it is to be in touch with the beauty of art. And it's just amazing that everything repeats itself. We know that, but I love it. Now, nothing like that beautiful view. I just want to relax sometimes. I don't even want to leave here. <laughs>